Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about how you can use Node.js to send emails. So SendGrid is a very good platform to send emails, rather it is password reset emails, verification OTP emails. So I have actually created an account so I will sign in so you can you guys can go for start for free. I will sign in and then I will show you how you can set things up. So this is the account that I have created like right now. So they have added two factor authentication. Let me add the code. Okay. So I'm logged in. Okay, so when you're logged in, uh, I'm going to show you how you can send emails and how you can create dynamic templates. So first of all, you have to create a sender identity. So if you don't do it, then you you will not be able to send emails. So you have to like verify the sender identity. So click on create single sender. There I have to specify something like from name. From name will be fix that device. It is the company name, okay? And then fix that EEV device at gmail.com. This is the email. Reply email will be the same. And then the company address. I will limit that to Islamabad, Pakistan. city Islamabad state I want selected okay country Pakistan nickname is uh, that device okay so you provide the relevant information and then it says like kindly check your email so what I have to do is I have to open up the email account fix that device okay so uh, SendGrid has sent me an email to check that whether I have provided the right correct email address yeah I want to verify the sender I click on it and then the sender is verified there you go is taking a lot of time okay I have been verified that's good now I'm going to show you how you can get your API keys okay now it is showing you like create campaigns and all that okay but we are going to get our API key right now integrate using our web API SMTP relay yeah that's what we want to do the first option then it asks for the yeah web API it is recommended as well then you have to choose the language I think yeah I will use node and the good thing is like whatever language you choose it also provides you a method the method which is required to send the email so that is good API key name this will be the name you can provide any name and now this is the API key I have generated okay so now in the code I will replace the old API key with the new API key okay and this is the email I will tell you how this method works in detail now and uh, by the way I have added the API key and uh, I have added the email so we have
have created the API key we have added the API key so this is the method like the sgmail.send and that we have to specify two address two address is the email which we will be sending the email and from is the uh, email address from which we will be sending the email uh, this will be static this is the email address which you have verified so this is the email address that I have verified uh, right now in the video as a single sender identity and this is the subject uh, right now I'm sending an email for uh, password reset okay and this is the text and uh, the same uh, data goes in the HTML there are two different tags like in, in HTML you can add images you can add rows you can add columns and all that okay and then you in text it will be like plain text so let's check that if it is working or not okay so I will open because this project is not completed like this is the HTML of the project like this project is uh, under development like we are developing that project so right now we are working on the back end and then we will create create its front end so that's why I don't have a working front end to make the API call so I will use the postman to send the request okay so I have a user and for that user I will send the password uh, reset request okay this is the user with the name Josefa8580 I will click on it and let's see uh, I think the it works fine let's check my email this is the email address Josefa yeah I have received an email it the, usually the um, send with emails lands into the updates uh, section of your gmail account okay so this is how my email looks like hello welcome to fix that device your new password is this okay that is good let me check if it is working or not okay yeah it is working I'm being logged in that's good and for the logical part how you can set up the password reset I can also show you the logic of it like uh, here you go what you have to do what I've done is like uh, I've given the email address of the user and then in the controller I have find first I have find the user with that particular email address if that user is fine then I have created a random string okay and then when the random string is created I have updated that password that random string is uh, used as a new password and then uh, I have updated the password for that particular user and then when the password is updated after the update uh, is being called I have called the update user method and then the update user method is in uh, it is in the user controller file okay yeah this method is called okay uh, it is the password is being hashed and then it is being saved okay and then uh, what is happening is like uh, let me go back okay when the uh, password is updated then I call email account don't send email I specify the email address on which I have to send email and I specify the password and there you go you get email and you get password and then you send uh, that email is sent to the particular account with the new updated password and now I will show you how you can use the in send grid there's another option as well you can use dynamic templates so I have an account in which I have already created templates so I will logged into that so uh, it won't take my because it will take a lot of time to create a new template right now so I will just show you how you can edit it so you can do it yourself okay let me log into this okay just one second it will ask for the sender identity I have to write the ODP
so I will add the ODP there you go I'm being logged in and there is the project which I'm logging into it is a project management tool uh, this is also one of a recent project that I have done so you can see the stats over here like the request that delivered emails the opened emails percentage clicked bounce rate spam rate all the stats because this project is uh, in testing so that's why you can see the stats okay so let me open that project there you go this is the project and I'm using uh, the send grid for reset password and the login OTP so first I reset my password I will, I'm gonna use the same email address and uh, okay I hope so I will receive yeah I have received the password reset request there you go this is the new password and you can see the design it is pretty much uh, better like and the normal e email send is like pretty cool like the design is very off like this one it is better like it can be much better you can design uh, it your own way but still okay I'm gonna copy that I'm gonna go here like I'm gonna observe if I use gmail.com okay I'm gonna paste that password and then log in and then there you go it is asking me for the ODP I go back I look for the ODP I think yeah login ODP 804 this is yeah so this is the login ODP email I will copy that I will paste that okay and there you go I'm logged into the project this is the project it contains notification chat box yeah it is like a project management tool like Trello you can move cards you can add tasks you can yeah this is what it is there you go you can open up the task you can assign that to users uh, chat box as well there's a chat box for which you can chat other users okay so I will paste the methods and this is the method to send dynamic uh, the templated uh, form of the uh, email like this is the method which is used uh, sgn.send for sending a normal email and this is the method that you use uh, for sending the template email okay sgn.send and then in that you specify the message in the message you specify to from template id dynamic template data okay and there you go uh, this is the place email api dynamic templates in dynamic templates uh, let me open that project as well the project management there you see like I'm providing the email from email the template ID dynamic template data okay I will copy paste that in the description so that you guys get the code and you don't have any issue and this is the send template method and this is where from uh, this is where it is being called and there you see these are the two uh, templates that I've designed this is the login login this is the template ID okay this is the template ID and then this is the template like it is very easy to design it is very easy like I, I have not taken much time but if you like uh, work on it like for a few like minutes like you can design way better you can specify the font size color you can specify dynamic variables okay you can specify like new ODB this is the dynamic variable okay so there you go I am sending the in in uh, yeah yeah I am sending in dynamic template data I am sending that variable new new password so that's why whenever I received uh, the email it contains the ODB so if you have to add dynamic data you will you should uh, write the 
so you can for dynamic variables you can uh, you have to like add the variable in curly braces you can add a button you can highlight there are a lot of things like you can add an href and in the you have you can specify that subject pre-header you can actually test your email as well okay when you design it you can test it uh, there and then in the build the, the, these are different modules that you have like a button you have just drag and drop okay it is very easy like drag and drop a button like add, I have to drag and drop I can add like anything very easily okay I have to just drag and drop and uh, I don't know why it is not working right now but it usually does yeah it is being added <laughs> my bad previously yeah you have to like wait and then leave yeah now the button is being added so this is pretty much it you can add columns you can add text you can add images you can add image and text okay wherever you like okay this is the image this is the text the, the, it is pretty good like and then the unsubscribe button divider social links okay you can add social links as well so uh, it is good like you can add global styling the the width and all that okay so and then in the end you have to just click on save button and that's it and uh, and this is uh, pretty much it and the same goes in the forget password uh, template that I've designed and there are like pre-designed there are pre-designed templates as well you like you just click on create dynamic template test and when it is created you click on there like your email designs and send grid email designs from there you can select any design and then you can like actually edit that design editor code editor okay so it is being loaded the template that I have imported there you go 50% off images text buttons the whole design the column structure uh, the social icon like I have to just add my own company images uh, and then I can edit it as well and then I will save it and I will get the template ID so this is how you actually create a template like create and then you can uh, yeah this is pretty much it so thank you so much guys for watching I will delete this test uh, template that I've created okay so thank you so much guys for watching uh, let me know if you have an uh, if you have any issue related to it in the comments I will also paste all the codes uh, sending a normal email uh, function sending a, a template function I will share the code in the description thanks